Over here, stranger. Resident Evil 4's merchant has some awesome gear to buy in his store. But the problem is, everything he sells is so expensive. If you want to buy out the merchant's inventory whenever he has new supplies, you can follow these tips for how to make money fast in Resident Evil 4. Let's do some business then, eh? The game has three distinct areas that it takes place in, and each one has its own treasure map. You can buy these maps from the merchant by trading Spinel with him, which you earn by completing the Blue Note side quests. You've got a soft spot for treasure, eh? Completing either of the first two quests that you see, for the blue medallion hunt in the village or the rats in the abandoned factory, should give you enough spinel to buy the first map immediately, meaning you can find every chest and trinket in every area as you pass through it. You'll have plenty to sell the next time you see that mysterious man. You can sell almost any item in this game, but it's worth knowing which things are good for selling and which are best to hang on to. For example, items that read for selling only in their description are fine to sell immediately, as are any keys that show up in the selling menu as they will only appear here when you no longer need them. Most gemstones say that they are combinable with other items, so hang on to these and insert them into trinkets that you find in order to sell them for a huge cash bonus. Also, as we're talking about gemstones, be sure to take a look at this list of gemstone combination factors, as having an understanding of which combos are worth what can help you make the most of each treasure. Some gems are worth more than the combo benefit that you may unlock, so make sure you pay attention to the value of the treasure as you add your gems so that you can make the best sale to the merchant as possible. The Bolt Thrower is a great weapon for conserving your ammo, but it's also good for silently hunting nearby wildlife. If you didn't know, when you shoot crows, they drop loot for you, just the same as the villagers do. You may find ammo, crafting components, and yes, money. Using the bolt thrower for this will keep the other birds from flying away too, meaning you can loot more of them while also conserving ammo. There's also a specific area when first entering the quarry where you come upon a huge gathering of crows. Toss a single flash grenade and you'll take them all out with one blast. There will come a time where the merchant will offer you too many guns for you to carry at once. Many of these guns serve similar roles as ones that you already carry, so it can be worth selling your older weapons to make way for the new. This is a mostly risk-free choice to make, as you will receive the vast majority of the money back that you spent on any upgrades for the weapon that you're selling, meaning that you won't lose much of your previous financial investment. And you'll get to try the new stuff. You can sell off spare health sprays and plant mixes early in the game for decent money. And you will tend to get more plant drops from enemies the fewer health items you are carrying around. It's risky but can be rewarding. Speaking of selling health items, this also works for various food, including the vipers that you can find, fish, and chicken eggs. You've probably seen these containers that can only be opened with small keys. These drawers and cupboards usually hold a valuable treasure, but unfortunately the keys themselves don't appear on the in-game map with the treasure map unlocked. If you want to find them all so that you can open every treasure box, we've got you covered with all the small key locations in our guide on IGN. Some of the trickiest treasures aren't in chests or locked areas at all, but can be found hanging from objects in the environment inside small silver lamps. These are marked on the treasure maps we mentioned earlier, but if you're trying to find them on your own, listen for the creaky sound of the lantern swinging in the breeze. When in doubt, look up. For more on Resident Evil 4, check out our video review, as well as our tips for how to save your ammo. And for everything else gaming, keep it here on IGN.